In this video, I'm going to walk through all the steps of making what you see in front of you, which is the uh, actual membrane pre-etch uh, for my planar magnetic headphones. And what I've used to create this is regular kitchen aluminum foil. I bought it from German store brand Lidl here in Sweden. And I got my Mylar film from my local outdoor sports shop which sold it as space blankets. There is, however, a slight problem with these space blankets that you buy in outdoor sports shops. They come folded up like a billion times. And this is not good for us, but we can fix that. The solution is really quite simple if you have a 3D printer. What you can do is you heat your bed up to 70 degrees Celsius spray your clean bed plate hot bed plate with water and then put your mylar on top of it you can smooth it out with any type of card any plastic card and it'll become smooth so this is what it looked like before and this is what it looked like after using the second method which is spraying and then applying the mylar Now the next step is to laminate the aluminum to the mylar. Something to keep in mind when gluing the aluminum to the mylar is to glue the aluminum's smoothest side to the mylar to avoid air bubbles. You can imagine the spray right here is actually spray glue. You should smooth it out with your hand and preferably not a card because you can rip the aluminum. Small bumps like this one when run over by a credit card, can get torn up. You should always clean the aluminum with acetone before you apply the glue. This is to remove any oils that came from your fingers when smoothing out the aluminum. When spraying the glue on the aluminum, do it zigzag all over the surface from different angles. This is to ensure that you get an even full coverage of glue so that you don't get any bubbles or areas where there is no good adhesion at all. It has happened to me before that I have not made a good coverage with glue. And that has led to the actual traces of aluminum lifting from the mylar when etching. However, when you have applied your PET mylar, you can smooth it out with a card easily. The mylar is much more resistant to tears, which is why we use it as a membrane in the first place. As you can see, I'm being very visibly violent with it and it's not, <laughs> it's not getting torn at all. So you can use a card for this one. And the spray glue I used to bond the PET mylar with the aluminum was this spray glue from my local hobby shop. It is acid free and it was removable with this 100% acetone. In the next video, I am planning on showing you how I make the etch resist you see on the screen. Thank you for watching.